and I am back at Falkreath with Lydia. I have brought all of my iron because we're probably going to need it for making like nails and stuff. I also brought some corundum. I've stocked her with as much as she can carry. Um, but I'm pretty sure I brought all of my iron and all of my corundum ingots. Hopefully we can get at least some of the house built and possibly get Lucia to move in but we'd need to build like a bedroom or something for her in the first place and I believe when we get there it's just empty land so there's that we have to build this house from the ground up and eventually it's gonna look fucking awesome or atrocious depends um this way oh there's an abandoned cart nothing in it Maybe we'll come back later and use that. Oh, hello. Can I have the egg? Harvest bird's nest. A rock wobbler. Warbler. Cool. Oh, bandits. Looks to be... Fuck you, bitch. Ah, oh, you missed. How do I get up? I'm coming for you, motherfucker. Can't wait to count out your coin. Well, you're dead. Uh, you can keep your sword and that. We don't want it. Turning a wheel. Like you just missed, and I'm right next to you. Oh, you're shooting the floor. Death is highly overrated. <laughs> Well, enjoy death, which is apparently highly overrated according to you. And, um, yeah. Wait, is there another one? Video, where are you going? Come on. I think she's lost the plot. I heard that bear. Where is it? Hmm. Okay, maybe it went. Whose house is this? Oh yeah, I'll have the potatoes. We don't want the basket though, that can come out of there. Come at Oh, do you know what? Fuck it, I can't be asked. If I can't pick up the basket, there's no point. Oh, a nun root and a mud crab. Yeah, I saw you there. Getting back in the water. You idiot. And... Oh, there is another one. Oh, Lydia can just murder him straight away and steal his soul. Whatever. I think we are here, roughly. Yep, here's our land. We now own this plot of land, which we have the deed for. Um, this one, Lakeview Manor Charter. Sidgear, Jarl of Falkreath, to Space Wolf, his loyal friend, grants of this steading of Lakeview Manor on the south shore of L Lake Il Ilinata? Ilanata, east of Falkreath, witnessed by Nenya, steward of Jarl Sidgir, on the 23rd of Morningstar, year 202. So, this is our new home. And if we look at our drafting table. Completed. Visit your new property in Falkreath Hold. Buy lumber for building your house. A uh, house. Use the drafting table to begin building your house, which is what we're on. So, misc small house layout. Uh, do you want to create this item? Yes. Uh, complete. Use the drafting table to build. Begin building your house. Use the carpenter's workbench to build the foundations of your house. So, this little plot's where the house is going to be. 
Um, unfortunately, I have all of the stuff on me. Um, so if we deposit, we'll take all this, we'll take all the clay, um, and that corundum ingot, and we'll take the six iron ingots and we'll deposit all of them apart from six, because then we've only got what we're carrying. So, all but six. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So we got the six that we would have had if we hadn't brought all the iron with us. She's carrying all the corundum. Um, carpenter's workbench. Oh, hang on. There's a book here. The Beginner's Guide to Homesteading. If you're like most people, you've always dreamed of owning your own steading and building your own home. But where to start? Never fear. Uh, you hold in your hands the guide to everything you need to know. Before long, you'll be gazing complacently across your well-tended lands from the porch of your own manor house. Getting started. There are two vital pieces of equipment that prospective homeowners need. Uh, the drafting table and the carpenter's workbench. Your drafting table is where you'll lay out the plans for each stage of your new house. Don't worry about making a mistake here. You can always change your mind and making a new plan costs you nothing. Remember, measure twice, cut once. Uh, your carpenter's workbench is where you'll do the actual construction. Once you've settled on a plan at the drafting table, you can start building your house at the carpenter's workbench. Avoid the common beginner's mistake. Don't try to build the roof without building the proper supports first. <laughs> Space for family. If you have a spouse or children, you'll certainly want to get the house in a livable state as soon as possible. Your loving spouse will no doubt make do with nothing more than a roof over her head and bed to sleep in. But what about your children? Don't worry, all they need is a bed and a chest or dresser to store their treasures, and they will be perfectly content. Building materials. You will need a lot of supplies to complete your house, but it isn't necessary to gather everything you need ahead of time. Unless you're in a hurry, you can just build in stages as materials become available. Uh, you will also... Uh, no, you'll enjoy watching your home progress from dream to reality. The most common materials you'll need are sawn logs, cut stone, and clay. Luckily, these are plentiful. Uh, these are plentiful in Skyrim. In fact, most building sites will have one or more easily accessible sources of clay and stone. For sawn lumber, any lumber mill will be glad to sell and deliver as much as you need. You'll need a lot of nails. Fortunately, even a novice blacksmith will soon find themselves turning iron into nails with ease, which is why I brought the iron with me. Um, because we already saw all of the fucking, uh, building materials when we were crafting our weapons and that. When you turn to furnishing your completed house, you'll need a much wider variety of materials. Some of them, such as straw and glass, are commonly obtained from general goods stores. For the rest, the whole of Skyrim will become your general store. Hiring a steward. Once your estate is well established, you may wish to consider hiring a steward to help manage your affairs. A good steward can be invaluable, from hiring a carriage driver to buying a cow, to keeping you supplied with building materials, freeing you to enjoy the fruits of your labours. Before hiring a steward, it's advisable to bring a potential candidate to the man uh, to your manor and observe whether they are a good fit for your requirements remember you are putting your entire estate into the their hands you need someone you can trust implicitly building your house the rest of this guide will retain uh, review plans for each room that might you might want to build small house which is what we're doing now before you get too ambitious, gain confidence by building this tidy cottage. Uh, ti yeah, tidy cottage. It is the perfect start home and might turn out to be all you need. But don't worry, if you decide to keep building, you can remodel this into an entryway to the rest of your house. Uh, we won't read any more of this until we get to, or shall we? Sure, whatever. Main hall. 
you may decide the small house is not enough. Perhaps you need room for a growing family. The next step is to add a main hall, which will turn your cottage into an imposing manor house. Two floors, including space for two small bedrooms, a back room and a large dining area. Additions. Once you've built a main hall, your options become almost unlimited. You now have room to add three more additional wings. If you decide you still need more space, for each wing, you have three choices of what to build, giving you a total of nine possible additions. But remember, you can only build three of them, so choose wisely. West Wing Bedrooms. The bedrooms ad uh, bedroom addition is perfect for if you are ha have a family who needs more comfortable living quarters than the main hall affords. The bedroom has space for a master bedroom plus two children's beds. Uh, as well as all the dresses, wardrobes, etc. that anyone could desire. This addition also includes a spacious exterior porch. Um, which we're going to need that for the for Lucia to move over for with us. Then we've got the West Wing Greenhouse. Perhaps you're a gardener at heart. If so, the greenhouse provides room for planters where you can grow almost whatever you wish, sheltered from Skyrim's harsh climate. Tend and harvest your crops for the comfort of your own home. Or, on the west side, we can have an enchanter's tower. If your interests lie in the magic ra uh, magical realm, this tower edition is for you. Conduct your research in privacy and confront plenty of uh, comfort. Plenty of space for keeping your collections and artifacts organized, and the view from this tower is guaranteed to take your breath away. Uh, then we got the North Wing, which is like the far, the furthest one away. If you simply need more space to store your many possessions and collections, build yourself a storage room. The included porch can even be connected to the porch on the East or West Wings, if you build the bedroom or armory edition. Uh, North Wing Trophy Room. Are you a big game hunter who wants to show off your prizes? The trophy room provides space for displaying up to seven magnificent mounted specimens of your choice. Sure to amaze and impress your guests. Alchemy Laboratory. Perfect for the aspiring alchemist. This tower edition will give you plenty of space and storage to hone your craft in comfort and when you need a break from brewing potions enjoy the view from the tower roof then we've got the east wing armory which is on the right side of the house uh if you're facing towards the actual front door that is <coughs> if you like nothing better than to spend a day hammering metal you or are simply a collector of armor and weapon uh, weapons. The armory is for you, with space for smithing as well as plenty of room to display your m martial collections in style. The armory is the perfect addition to any house. Uh, the kitchen provides everything you need to pursue the highest culinary arts. Tired of cooking everything in a pot over a fire? You can even equip it with a new fangled oven. Do we want a kitchen? I guess we kind of do, because we have a child to look after. Uh, the library tower is sure to please those who value literature. With space for all the bookshelves you could desire, you'll be able to enjoy your collection of books in style, or perhaps take a book to the tower roof and enjoy the view from your steading. Or of your steading. So there's three different towers we can choose. There's three different bits that look like that on the side of the house, like a little extra mini bit of a house, and then there's the ones with the porch. So maybe we should have the armory, the storage room, and the bedrooms, or at least we want the bedrooms, and then what should we have on this side? Um, the storage room maybe? A bedroom? Storage room or trophy room? Uh, I think we'll have the storage room, the bedroom and the storage room, and then we'll have... Perhaps the armory or the kitchen, I'm not sure yet. 
But yeah, that's our beginner's book. So let's get started, shall we? House Foundations. Uh, it's going to cost us 20... Oh, one sawn log, we've got 20. And 10 quarried stone, we got 30. And... Awesome. Looking good. House Foundations. What's next? We have... Uh, house wall framing. Oh, okay, we need to make some nails. And building materials. We want... 10 nails. And... House wall framing. How did this use nails? Like, it's just logs. But sure. Nice. Um, now we've got the house walls. We need more nails. And nail. Oh, smithing leveled up. Unfortunately, we didn't for some reason. House walls. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, we can still go in here. Not bad. Lydia, would you like to be the steward? Would you look after my house for me? I mean, you are a glorious bitch, and I would like to take you with me everywhere, but... I think it's about time you settled down and looked after my, uh, child. While I'm out. Uh, four quarried stone for the floor. Okay, what does that look like? Oh, okay. A little bit better than it was before. And now the house roof framing. Is that just the... Yeah, it's just the bits on top. Are we almost done with this little... Can you mind out the way, please, Lydia? Uh, now we need more nails to finish the roof. So let's make some more nails. Oh, don't make more. I only wanted one set. Thank fuck for that. I might have wasted it then by accident. Uh, there's the roof. Oh, that looks cool. We're building our own house, guys. It's being done. And we need one iron fitting, uh, a lock, and two hinges. Which are also in here. So we need two hinges, an iron fitting, and a lock. Uh, lock is one iron ingot and one corundum ingot. Iron fitting is one iron ingot. And two hinges is one iron ingot. So all of the stuff that was in that chest, we used to make the, verse, the, like, the first part of the house. Like the little building that we've just done. So this. And now we've put the front door on, I believe we can go in, and this is our house so far. And we've got ourselves a workbench in here, so we can build all sorts of containers and shit. Uh, which we're going to need nails and stuff for. Uh, we need nails and an iron ingot for that. Uh, double bed. I guess we could make that. A square table and chairs. Not bad. Aha! That's why we needed goat horns. A fire bit. Hanging rock. That doesn't look like a rock. Whatever. Have we got anything in here? No, just an empty chest to store our stuff in. Cool. Let's have a look and see what else we can build. Because there was some new stuff opened up as soon as we put the door on. Um. Okay, so we get a free pickaxe. And this is where we get... Yeah, that's where we get stone. And there's got to be somewhere around here where we can get clay. Um. Oh, okay. We've got wood here. Oh, we've got three logs left. 
Um, oh, here's the clay. So it's next to the wood. Uh, what else can we build then? Oh, miscellaneous. We can have an animal pen. That looks like a chicken one. Uh, an apiary. Is that for bees? I think so. An armor, a workbench, a garden, uh, a grindstone, awesome, a smelter, and oh my god, we can have a stables. So we can get ourselves a new horse. Um, okay, let's have a look at this. Um, house, remove, work, bench, no. That's to remove the workbench from the house, but no. Uh, main hall. Sure. What do we need for this? Um. Oh, it wants us to add the door straight away. So we need more iron things, uh, more lock, more hinge, more nails. So, uh, Lydia, can I have Still my corundum? Here. I need a steward for my house. Are you interested? I'd be honored to be your steward. You've built a fine steading here. Uh, I'd like you to make some improvement. No. Um, I'd like you to buy some building materials for me. Sure. Of course. What can she what get are we me? Running short of? Um, lumber. I'll see to it at once. Is there anything else you need? Um, no. Yeah, I'll let's get some more. Is there anything else you need? Uh, I'll let's see get. To it at once. Is there there we go. Else you need? No, that'll do. Thank you. Um, so she's going to get us 60 logs. I don't know if it's already just put it in here straight away or not. Oh, it has. Awesome. So she'll look after the house now. Um, oh shit, no, we need to talk to her and get my uh, corundum. Lydia, come back. It's my house. Where did she go? Why would I be planning on making any trouble? This is my land. Where is she? Lydia? Well, this is where the main hall's gonna be. It's quite big. And, uh, that rock on the tree have disappeared now. Is she in there or not? Did we kind of glitch it and she was like, half in half out or no she's not here well she's fucked off with my corundum so i can't do fuck all until she gets back um i think we have to wait and just see if she just turns up uh, it might be because it's night time is she back well she's not here is she in there now? Oh, she's in it now. I am your sword and your shield. Um Do you know where I can buy materials like glass or straw? Hmm. You might try grey pine goods in Falkreath. They carry all sorts of things like that. Oh, thank you, Lydia. Follow me, I need your help. Lead the way. I've got your back. Um, I'd like to trade. I am at your command. Of course you are. Um, corundum. Is there anything else you've got that I can have? Oh yeah, some of my iron. And that's it, I think. Yeah. Let's get going. Then. Huh. Right. So let's make another one of let's make some of them one of them one of them and some nails and now we should be able to build the door so there's the door and i believe that's for entering this bit from yeah here we go so it's on the back and there's a door in there now then we will need some stone so to actually save everyone the hassle of watching this, I'm going to cut here and I'll be back once I've mined a fuck ton of clay and a fuck ton of stone. Um, because I don't think you guys are going to want to watch me mine for like half an hour or something.
so I will see you all in a little while and we are back uh, I got some clay and uh, some quarried stone so we'll take all that and we will have a look at there we go main all foundations uh, four sawn logs and 30 quarried stone bosh that is the foundation oh, we're a bit overweight that's um oh well we're massively overweight jesus um oh no we wanted to put like that amount away um and we'll put like that much away no um half that away and like that much sure now we can move oh i hope the grass doesn't do this uh once we're a bit further along okay next bit we need main hall floor bosh oh it is still hanging through but at least we can see the floor is quite nice um what are we missing is it for this next bit ah oh, we need 20 nails okay well, let's make some then uh 10 20 bosh main hall wall framing 16 sawn logs 20 nails is that just the uh, yeah it's just the lot whoa that's quite tall actually well that did say it was two floors didn't it okay well uh, main hall first level walls second floor supports um okay well we need nails for both of them so let's just make some more nails in fact fuck it let's make a hundred nails one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Oh, we've leveled up. Awesome. Well, that's going to go into health and smithing. We are going to learn elven smithing. Bosh. Now we can make elven armor and weapons. Ooh, yeah. Uh, let's make the supports for the second floor first, because I have a feeling once we put the walls up, we're not going to be able to see these, unless we go in the house and then out the other side. So, bosh. Oh, okay. So we've got a, a, a weird, very steep staircase on either side as we come in the house. And then this is the upstairs. I mean, do we not have any better woods? Like, there's like gaps everywhere. But sure. Um, maybe we'll get Lydia to like fix it up later. And let's do the first floor walls. And okay, yeah, as I thought, let's put walls all the way around. What's the next bit? Uh, main hall roof framing. Um, yeah, go on then. I would have thought we'd have to put the walls on first. Oh no, okay, it's just okay. Yeah, that's cool. I wonder if we can actually get the bedroom ready and get Lucia moved in. And that's just the walls, I'm assuming, for the second floor. Yep. Now we need to put the roof on. Bosh. Oh my god, we can have a cellar? Should we have a cellar? Sure. Um, eight sawn logs and 50 quarried stone. Bam. Sure, let's have an animal pen and let's build a stables. What do we need for a smelter? Two iron fittings. Um, uh, three iron fittings because we want one of them as well. Um, sure, let's get most of this misc stuff built, shall we? So we need one, two, three iron fittings. Uh, Armourer's workbench, two quarried stone. One iron ingot, four sawn, uh, one 
sawn log. We've only got four. Um, grindstone, one quarried stone, one sawn log, and one iron fitting. And a smelter, two iron fittings, five iron ingots, six clay, four quarried stone, and a garden. One sawn log. Uh, we need another sawn log and two straw for this. We have straw back at the other house in White Run, so we could bring some over. Um, but I think that's that for this. Should we go in and have a look at it? I mean, geez, that looks fucking good. We have built a beautiful place here. Oh, okay. This is our stables. Um, is this the animal pen? I'm assuming. Um, we've got... Oh, a garden. This is where it is. Okay, we got a grindstone, a workbench, a smelter. So we've got, like, a place to build armor and weapons now. It's good thing we do all of that mining so far while we've been playing. Um, and that's it, apparently. But we have a stables. Oh, we got a tanning rack as well. Did we get that free? There's an elk there. No. Lydia, come here. I'm right behind you. Um I'll head back home if you need me. Okay. Honored to see you again, my fame. Uh can you buy me some building materials? What are we running short of? Wood. I'll see to it. Is there anything else you need? Yeah, we'll have some more wood. I'll see to it. Is there anything else you need? More wood. I'll see to it at once. Is awesome. there anything else you need? No, thank you. You can wander around now. I'm just gonna have a look inside. Unless you want to come in with me. Do you want to come with me? What do you need, my fame? Um, follow me. Lead the way. Come look at this new house we've built together. You in? Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god, the cellar. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Let's go check out upstairs, Lydia. Not bad. Got quite a lot of room. Oh, this looks like a storage room, maybe, up here? And let's go and check out the cellar. We have... Quite a big area, actually. Oh my god, it goes right across. Oh. Ah. Um, it's quite dark down here. But we do have quite a lot of room in here. Oh my god, is this another extension or something? Is there going to be another hole out that way? Oh, we got a workbench down here, so we can work on that later. Um. Well, that's that so far. Should we go and see if we can build the bedroom section? Then we can move Lucy here in. Um, on here. Okay. Um, bedrooms. Um, okay. Is that, I think that's this side. Okay, so Lucy's bedroom's going to be on this side. Okay, quite a large area. She's going to have a very big bedroom. I wonder where my bedroom is. Uh, we need three locks. Okay, three locks, six hinges, and three iron fittings. Um, sure. One, two, three. One, two, three. And bedroom doors. Why did we build them first and not the foundation? And why did we need three locks, six hinges, and um, three things when there's only two doors? 
Um, whatever. Is this tree going to stay here? I'm not sure. Foundations. Uh, two sawn logs and ten quarried stone. That's just the flat bit that she's going to stand on. Or is she going to... Well, she's going to... That bit there. And then I think we put the flooring on, which is that weird squared flooring. Um, and then obviously the... Yeah, there's the floor. That stuff. And then the supports. Um, then we'll quickly show you this. Not bad. Um, uh, what's next? We bedroom roof. That doesn't look like a roof. Yeah. What the fuck does that mean? Bedrooms a roof? That's not a fucking. Okay, maybe it is. Oh, okay. This is on the outside. Fair enough. Look, someone is dying in the other room. Hopefully quietly. Well, no, it's not quiet. I can hear it. Um, sure. So, next thing is the walls. And that's that done. Is it done? Oh, it is. Let's go and have a look. How big is it? Oh, okay, so both doors do fit into it. It's not two different rooms. So, if we... I think we need to give the chest, or maybe the wardrobes. Um, or just the furniture. Okay, we need leather and straw for these. Uh, square table and chairs. Oh, they can have their own wash basin. A what? Really? They need a weapon rack? I suppose we could put some nice stuff in here. Um. Oh, okay, wall shelves. Nice. Um. A bench. Oh, is this for out exterior outside? Yeah. Low table. Round table and chairs. Table with bench. Um, and another wash basin. And what's the misc? Wow, we can put a mounted bear head in here, a mounted mud crab, and some torches. Well, wool sconces. Awesome. I'm guessing we don't put the bed in here anymore. Furniture. Oh no, we can put the bed in here. Okay, well, we need leather and straw, so I'm going to have to run back to the house and get all of my other building materials. I'm going to do several trips. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to dump everything in here. Uh, clay. Corundum. Iron. And nails. Quarried stone. Lydia. I'm right behind you. Time to trade. Your command. Um, you can have... Actually, no. Come with me. I was going to leave her here, but I think it'd be easier if I just take her with me. So I will be back in a minute after I've done several trips back to Whiterun to collect all my building materials. Okay.